Jobs, Growth, Reconnecting with Citizens, Climate Change, Geopolitics. Everything one answer, energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is the first fuel. We have 50 million citizens in Europe at the moment in energy poverty. We have to act collectively to help them and renovating where they live so they're not leaking energy and facing high energy bills is an important part of that. We have to start thinking about buildings in a different ways as uh, energy junctions, as energy hubs that play active role in the energy system, not a passive role. And this in turn has a major impact on the national and the EU energy system and gas consumption and the energy mix. People think that uh, to, big, uh, to build a big plant or a big pipeline is uh, better than to uh, refurbish uh, 400 or 1000 houses. So there is a real cultural barrier. People think and above all decision makers that it is costly and also there is a legislative problem. I think that the legislation is not of the highest quality and it, it in itself it represents a barrier that we have to overcome. If we want a, a really a thriving market for energy efficiency we need a strong target so that's a 30% plus uh, target for Europe. We, we need strong legislation notably in the energy efficiency legislation and what we call article 7 which is the energy saving obligation uh, but we need also financing on the table, so Commission has to do some repackaging of structural funds, Juncker investment funds. Some of the big heavy industries who are saying that uh, they're now looking more positively at energy efficiency as a market opportunity. So with this more joined up set of stakeholders collaborating, at least debating the issues, I'm going to force myself to be more optimistic that we will uh, begin to achieve some of our long-term goals. Energy efficiency is really the sort of glue which is holding the different elements of the energy union together. I mean, one, one example which I think is striking is the evolution of the International Energy Agency. They've, they've gone from a, an organization calling for um, increased um, security of oil supply to perhaps one of the biggest champions of energy efficiency out there. It's, it's striking and it's symbolic. Our best ally over the last years was Mr. Mr. Putin, so the fact that uh, he threatened to, to do gaming on gas has brought up efficiency as, as a way to change geopolitics very high up to the Prime Ministers, to the President of Commission. So uh, I think efficiency is much more attractive, much more on the radar, also high up in policy than it was before.